It is barely a month since the Kenya Planters Cooperative Union emerged from the receivership after receiving a deal with KCB over a loan that the union owes the bank. This restored hopes to many coffee farmers in the country that they will be paid their dues. However, a management row has erupted at the union with the two rival groups both claiming to be legitimately in the office. Last Friday, the two factions clashed at KPC headquarters in Nairobi. The current board led by William Gatay says the union is auditing the premise to ascertain the actual loss that the union underwent during the Friday's fracas. KPCU, of course, holds many, many third-party titles. Farmers who have borrowed money here previously have deposited their titles as security, and we are the custodians of those titles. It would be a shame if any of those documents were to have been lost. And today the commercial court has issued an order restraining a group led by Kyoko Njuguna from taking over KPCU management until a case filed by the current board led Gatay's team is heard and determined. Today, when all parties appear, were appeared in court, the justice was moved and noted that these guys defied a court order. The, our leave has therefore been extended. They have made a commitment to the Honorable Justice that they will not in any way appear in this premises of KPCU until the matter is fully heard and determined. Gate said the KPCU no longer has dual registration and is a limited company. Jeremiah Gola reporting for News Our Business.